Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Remember, I do still have a giveaway going on where you can win your very own Summer Oceanista box. So make sure that you check out that video. I'll leave the link above and below and make sure you Enter, you have to do it on a Google form. That giveaway ends whenever I hit 1500 subscribers, which will hopefully be sometime in the month of August. Today I have a new box to share with you, so I'm pretty excited about it. It is by Mosaic Makers, and I was really attracted to this subscription box company because they feature artisans that are making handmade goods, and they have a whole bunch of different subscription boxes for any taste, and they also have a lot of price ranges. So I saw there was a self-care box, Box, there was an accessories box there's like a Texas box so I went with the mega mix box was which is kind of like their mid-range box just so that I could get a smattering of all those different things and it's $45 now I was a little bit bummed because they had some shipping delays I actually had to reach out to them and ask like where they were in their shipping they said that it took some time because of everything that's going on to get the box out to me so I actually got charged for next month before even receiving this box so I hope it's good and otherwise we'll have to see maybe I'll try a different box so I hope that this is a nice collection it just came in a prompt plain brown box which of course I'm totally fine with um, because the shipping I believe the shipping was included in this I'm not sure but I think that was included in my 45 so that's always kind of nice all right so inside oh man you guys are gonna <laughs> I'm gonna laugh at least. So I'm just seeing a bunch of shreds and foozles and then right on top is something that I'm probably going to pass on to someone else because it is baby pink, which most of you guys know I'm not super into baby pink unless it's pink peonies. Um, it's a ball cap and it's got an embroidered uh, state of Texas on the front. So not really sure this they didn't like have anything where you put it in preferences where I could say that I don't really wear baseball caps or pink or wanting to like have Texas emblazoned on my forehead. Um, I'm sure that it's someone who does embroidery and that's kind of cool, uh, but this is just like, it's just not like a style that I wear anyway, even when I wear, do wear a hat. Uh, so this is called The Weekender. It is a Texas baseball cap in light pink. I wish it was like almost any other color. Um, and it is worth $25. So that's like, that's already more than half of my box. So. That's kind of a bummer, right? That half of my box value is already the here. So it's just got one of those like little buckle closures so that you can adjust it. And then it's got Texas embroidered in white. So my mother-in-law lives in Texas. Maybe maybe Julie wants, wants this pink cat, um, but maybe one of you guys do as well. So I'll just hold this off to the side, but this is definitely not something that I would ever pick out for myself for a variety of reasons. So fingers crossed the rest of this box is a little bit better. So it's just a little card here that's got some hands passing a box and it does say unbox the subscription box, be sure to tag them, I will definitely tag them. Um, and then it says that I can save 10% on my next single box or my three month subscription except of course I already renewed my subscription before I got this card so that is kind of a bummer. All right, well. I'll have to reach out and see and if I do like the next box or the rest of the contents of this box then maybe I can use it except that it says that it expires in 10 days. So that's a little bit of a bummer. All right, maybe I'll reach out to them. It might not be worth it. All right, so it looks like now I got some greeting cards. So one is, that's cute, it's like a little like succulent terrarium and it just says hello and it says that this is worth $4.50. Cards are expensive, so I will definitely give them that. So, and then there's another one, which I'm assuming it was also $4.50, and it says, it's a thank you card, and it says thank you for, and then it's just got like check boxes, sharing your Netflix account with me, being there, that gift, not making that annoying noise anymore, being you, using the word literally correctly, asking nicely and celebrating with me. That's actually, I like the little bit of snark in that in that card. I can definitely think of some of my friends that this would be appropriate for, where I could definitely check off a few of those boxes, especially using the word literally correctly. We use that word way too much. I use it, I use it wrong for emphasis sometimes too. All right, so two cute little cards. 
hopefully there's some other stuff in here so I got a Dallas lapel pin and this is cute it's a, like a little Pegasus and it is kind of in gold I don't know if you guys can see that can I get that to focus maybe it's hard because it's so shiny so you can just kind of see the outline is like engraved in black um i don't know what to do it's got two pin backs i have so many pins from subscription boxes like what do you guys do with all of your pins i've talked about using pins and patches and kind of like decorating one of my old denim jackets but then i don't think i'd ever like wear that denim jacket like one it would just be like really heavy to have all these pins on it and like I don't know I just feel like that much flair would just feel kind of like silly so it is cute and I'm sure I have someone where like Pegasus is like their spirit animal so I guess I'll hold on to that so not a bad item it's kind of one of those things where I wish you did get to have some like preferences maybe just to tell them like stuff or like unpreferences right just like stuff that I will never use please don't send all right, and then I think that's it. I've got one more item. I'm just making sure there's no like little small things hidden in the shred. So the last item, and I do I do think it said that you would get a shirt because I did reach out and ask about the sizing because they told you to say what size, but they said it's, they told me, they got back to me, they're like, it's pretty true to size. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so um, this is a cute shirt. Uh, let's see. So it says, it doesn't say how much it's worth. It's by Lucky Franklin. It's a size medium. It is in a very bright yellow. And let me get that tag out of the way. It says, girls just wanna have sun. So I think that's pretty cute, but um, I'm not really into like crew neck tees. And honestly, it's not like, it's not like one of those old school tees that's like super heavy duty and needs a lot of washes, but it's also not one of those super duper soft, super crumbly, nice t-shirts. It might need a few washes and it actually looks like it's going to be um, kind of, well, I'm not sure. It looks like the right size, like maybe you can do a little French tuck in the front. Um, it's not a shirt that I probably would have picked out for myself, like if it was in a tank top version or if it was in a V-neck, I would probably definitely use it. Uh, but I will probably pass this on to someone else just knowing that I myself would never reach for it. So for me, this box was a little bit of a bummer at $45 just because I won't use the hat and I won't use the shirt and those were really the bulk of the value. The pin is cute, the cards are cute, so the cards are definitely my favorite, especially the kind of clever thank you card. Hopefully, maybe the fact that I got charged for the next box already means that I'm just going to be able to give it another shot and maybe it'll be a different, better collection for me personally. Um, this is probably not something that I would continue with unless I was able to have like a few more preferences involved, but maybe I could try out one of their less expensive boxes. But you guys should definitely check it out. It is fun to get things from like small shops, like makers, knowing they're handmade locally there in Texas. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this one and hopefully I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing. If you appreciated this video, please do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon.